I, I got offer from some companies but they were like okay that's not for me because they were giving a, a less salary I was like I don't want to go outside India because I know myself because I'm not good in studies I'll waste your money and I applied in 27 universities because actually in UK most of the universities they don't need any like English they don't need IELTS or Duolingo in SOP SOP is very important which is in which you have to tell about your interest so university will help you to get an internship that is mandatory for master's degree apart from this i got a uh, 2000 pounds scholarship also from university they give 500 pounds to everyone and 500 pounds is not a small amount in uh, uk early pay is now increased to 975 my course was very intense and very tough very very tough even my friends and everyone says that your tough your course is really tough after completing your course you you are eligible for post study working visa Hello everyone, welcome to College Dunya Study Abroad. My name is Anshrika and today we have with us Akshat who has completed his Master's in Data Analytics from the Queen's University. Hi Akshat. Hi. Welcome to Hi. the channel. Thank you. Uh, could you uh, provide a brief uh, introduction of yourself before we begin? Yeah. So as you all know that my name is Akshat and uh, I'm from Meerut, Uttar Pradesh, India and I have done my schooling from one of the most reputed school of Meerut that is Gurudik Bahadur Public School and uh, later I have done my undergraduation in Computer Science and in Engineering from JP University and after then during my undergrad and my schooling I faced so many challenges and during that time I was like okay I, I have undergrad degree but I was like no there should be something else also because uh, whenever I, like I was looking for jobs at that time and uh, wherever I going I was uh, they were asking me some questions like do you have knowledge of this thing do you have this thing and in even in uh, some companies they were like you should have a master's degree or something uh, like higher you should have done higher education then there's a good chance I, I got offer from some university some companies but they were like okay that's not for me because they were giving a, a less salary and like I was not happy with that but I have done internship as well as I have done com like worked in for one year in a company but later I was like this is not for me I should go for some universities so that's why this is my journey so that's why I choose uh, Queen's University in UK that's great uh, coming to the colleges that you uh, applied to so you said that you worked for around one year which company did you work for so i worked in high com high commerce okay. that's in noida and i worked there as an amazon specialist as well as a, a chat a chat bot many chat bot specialist also apart from this i worked in byju's also okay. but i worked in byju's for some time only but I was like, this is not for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think Baiju is being a startup uh, has a really different work culture. Yes. And because uh, my experience was not good at that time because uh, I was just one second away like from my whole day. Like I gave my nine to nine work and I just uh, like they told me that you have to complete these this hours. Okay. And because of one second, they com uh, deducted my whole day salary. I was like, shit, this is not for me. My mom is told me, you spend your whole day and this is, what is this? Like, yeah, then I thought, no, if I have to do something in life, then I have to take a big action now. So, in, and during COVID time, that was a COVID time also. So there was a no jobs and all. So that's why there was a lot of problems. Then I decided for UK. Okay. So can you talk about the colleges that you applied to and how many universities did you apply to in the UK? Did you target any other countries as well or it was just UK? Okay. So let me tell you about the story, how I got to know about this thing. So when I was doing my undergrad, my dad always told me to go for higher studies in Germany because me and my dad are uh, like favorite countries like Germany because we both love German technology, German cars, German everything in Germany. He told me and he searched for me and he always gave me uh, the links for German universities. I was like, I don't want to go outside India because I know myself because I'm not good in studies. I'll waste your money. Okay, I was because to be very honest, I'm not a very good student. I was an average person. Even uh, 
एवरेज स्टूडेंट इवन माई प्रोफेसर ऑल्सो टोल्ड मी यूर एवरेज स्टूडेंट बिकॉज लास्ट ईयर I uh, went to my university and they got to know about my story and how where I'm right now. So they were like, really, uh, like your journey is really motivation for juniors. So they told me, we want you to come university and take uh, give a motivation to our juniors, to my juniors, because they want to know about it. Because you scored like seven, you your score is seventies, okay. But right now, what you are doing, it's really good because. so many students those who achieved like 10th per cgp or like a good score they are also not at this uh, where i am right now for sure so, i don't think in in foreign countries the score matters a lot in terms yeah, of true. they see how motivated the person is and how badly you want to do what you're trying yeah. to pursue so i told my dad that i don't want to go for any higher studies and all but then he told me that okay you have one year get a job and settle otherwise I have to do something for you. Then I will give you a uh, ten thousand rupees per month, and you have to go to Bangalore and search a job. Do, uh, do to go and give door to door interview. I was like, okay. Then I was like, this is not me. I have to do something. Then in May twenty 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 one, I was like, okay, let's go for higher studies. I searched for it, and I was like, okay. Then my one of my uh, uncle, he did it as a masters from UK only. Then I asked him. He suggests me, okay, you can go UK. and this is the best option and all these things then i was searching for it and immediately at that time i got all the sources and uh, in june i got to know that 30th june was the last day for most of the universities for apply i was like okay and i'm i planned for september only i have i, I got i three months only so in three months everything was done so i was like it's so quick it was so quick so and i applied in 27 universities approx okay. 27 to 28 universities that's a lot uh, i got so, uh, just from... question just a question uh, don't these universities have an application fee or what's the average application fee i'm just curious yes i will tell you i got offer from 25 universities okay <laughs> so and uh, all the universities there was no uh, fee no fee no fee only in uh, in uk in uk they are like around 125 120 to 150 universities on all over uk and out of 150 universities uh, i think in 10 universities top 10 like oxford cambridge uh, edinburgh and uh, i think in manchester and bristol and warwick there are like 10 universities they have fees of like 50 pounds or 50 or 60 pounds depends the university because these are the top 10 universities that's why they have fees apart from this none of them have a fee so i was like there is no fees i can apply i was because when i was applying i was like i don't know who will take me because i'm just a normal student and i don't i'm not sure that they'll take me or not it's like that time is really uncertain and you don't know which university will accept you and once the time goes you you cannot go back and apply to universities true, again true. because that their, their application finishes yeah and first i got one university and the ranking in all over world was like 500 i told my dad i got offer it's like good congratulations he also got shocked nice <laughs> so i was like okay that's a good university but uh, i asked one of my uh, friend then he told me why are you uh, don't worry about it you you apply to many universities you will get offer so like okay let's see then later i got another offer then later i got another offer i was like in 4 days i got three offers nice and the other universities offer were like one was in 400 and another was in like 7 800 in all over world then i got a offer from sheffield that is a uh, 11th no 11th in all over uk and 67th in all over world it's like that's a very good offer then i got many offers but i chose uh queens university reason behind this is this is russell group universities and russell group universities are the one of the most prestigious universities in all over uk apart from this uh, if i talk about fees also so this is the one of the most famous university and this is the ninth oldest universities in uk on university in uk so their fees was uh, not high as compared to other universities because if i talk about sheffield university the sheffield university fees was like 26000 pounds which is 26 lakh rupees 
and then it's uh, like living expenses and all this thing it will cost me approx 40000 pounds means 40 lakh rupees so like this is too much and queens universe and they were no they were not giving me any spon- uh, like uh, spo- a scholarship also reason behind this because i was too late for that yeah because as you know i i was just in the end of time i applied on the last date i applied in university still i got many offers and i got a call from some universities also they called me that you uh, like uh, east angelia university is not a very good university but they called me that you are you got a uh, vice chancellor scholarship that is 5000 pounds and your fees will be like 15000 pounds it's like not bad but that university was not i was like i have many offers now in hand and i have very very good universities offer why i'll go for this i will go for that those universities yeah then i uh, like i made an excel sheet and i wrote everything about the uh, course structure ranking world ranking and everything then uh, i decided for few universities i was in like uh, sheffield queens university newcastle cardiff yeah these four universities i was like okay in out of these four universities i will uh, choose one so i go with the course structure then i selected queens university and other university is uh, cardiff but uh, the fees is still the fees and everything then i decided everything and then i searched on google also about the course structure and everything i was like okay now queens is the best i'll go for queens and i don't know why at the time my uh, heart was saying go for queens university go for queens university not any other reason i was like i'll go for queens then that's okay. why i chose this university so uh, on all these universities which you applied to you applied for a masters in data analytics to all the universities and uh, masters in data analytics as well as in data science okay so i mean it's a interdisciplinary kind of thing where yeah because some universities they have like a data analytics course some universities they don't have data analytics course they have a data science so i applied like that only that's great so did you give any other exams uh, like i i think you mentioned duolingo duolingo so yeah uh, i gave a duolingo exam because actually in uk most of the universities they don't need any uh, like english uh, like they don't need ielts or duolingo they were like if your score in 12th cbsc is over 75 marks like if your score is 75 and more than that then you don't need uh, any other exams like ielts or duolingo they can accept it most of the universities i'm not talking about uh, like oxford or cambridge or top 10 universities they need they need ielts and they need good score in english also Mm-hmm. like 80 85% apart from this uh, so if you have this thing like if your score is 75% and you if you have done your undergrad in whatever whatever university then you need a letter from university that your course was in english that's it okay. they taught you in english and i think they will, like every university give this letter to everyone mm-hmm. so you need to submit those letter that's fine you will get degree you will get offer from universities but for me my score was like 61 in english so i have to give a ielts or duolingo anything so i gave duolingo because duolingo fees was 50 dollars which is 3700 rupees <laughs> and ielts fees was 14000 rupees so that's why i chose uh, duolingo Got and it was like work from uh, it was like i have to give exam from home yes. only uh-huh. and Got for it. ielts i have to go to the specific okay. center for two times because one day for speaking only and the another day for leading reading writing and listening exam Got it. so that's why i gave duolingo and i scored uh, 110 out of 150 okay that's great uh, so for duolingo so do you like is that is that exam accepted in all universities or some universities had the option that you need to give another exam or like yeah. to the ones you applied yeah so uh, duolingo accept uh, like all over world approx 150 to 200 universities accept duolingo exam my university is one of them and for with like i got offer for 24 universities out of which some accept uh, duolingo exam but some they don't accept duolingo exam in uk u- universities uh they need ielts bent up approx 6.5 or depends which university you are going they need 6.5 but in some universities if you are going for very good university they need bent for like 7 or 7.5 depends okay so my university bent was like 6.5 and duolingo 6.1 uh, 10 is equal to uh, 6.5 only i think so that's why it's accepted 
but in other universities like if i talk about sheffield they don't accept duolingo exam i got offer from queen queens mary university that's also one of the good good university and they also don't accept uh, duolingo okay. so uh, my university ranking was under 200 in all over world and in uk under 25 that's great so uh, for the application process you would have the same sop lor system or it's a bit different no sop lor system is same that i need uh, i have to write sop and that should be unique and properly like you have to write everything about your interest like as i told them that am i interested in mathematics because i was good in mathematics i am good actually i am good in mathematics and i my score was really good in mathematics from my journey i have like let me tell you how when i was in a school i got fail in mathematics when i was in 7th standard like shit and my dad was professor and they my pro teachers they know about my dad so they were like we will t- uh, we know your dad and we are going to complain your father so like shit i got very i was like upset and i was like i have to do something then from 8th standard i started studying about mathematics then from 9th my principal uh, taught me because principal only taught uh, pr- principal taught mathematics only those students those who are good in mathematics because he want only those uh, to uh, score 100 marks like 90s or in 100 marks in boards only to he taught only those students so i was one of them i was like that's a good mm-hmm. success achievement actually i would so then and in university when i was doing my undergrad i was the person whom my seniors told me you are the first person who scored 100 marks in mathematics in university and this is like this is really good score and they were few of them were still giving their they were giving their uh, backlogs and all so they were like we will come to your room and uh, you have to taught us and i taught everyone that thing so that's why my mathematics is good and i chose data analytics and in data analytics statistics and everything related to mathematics okay. so i told them everything that i want i have eagerly passion in this and everything so that's why uh, you have to uh, write everything by your own in sop sop is very important which is in which you have to tell about your interest yeah and lor is letter of recommendation which you will get from university or if you have any jobs then you can get it from your manager How many LORs did you submit at Queens University? Actually, uh, they need one is mandatory. Okay. In every university, one is mandatory, and uh, you can. But one is mandatory, but uh, they need uh, two because suppose uh, if uh, one. Actually, reason behind this is, if you submit one, and they try to contact them, if they are not able to answer or something, then uh, two is better because either one of them will be good. Yeah. Yeah, I think in US it's more like two to three because more people can back you up and say that this person is good or can talk yeah. about the person. Yeah. Even apart from this, you can uh, if you are not able to submit LOR because few of my professors told me you can tell the university, give my email ID, phone numbers, and all. They can get, send us an email and we will tell uh, them about you. So I did this thing also. Even uh, they, uh, but I submitted two LORs also. and i submitted few contact numbers also but i think they didn't co- contacted them because lor was sufficient for them yeah i don't think the universities have so much time to go to get back to everyone yes. that's why yes. they have a system where they submit the lors yeah and when i got the offer from queens university uh, i had a conversation with one uh, like there was a queens university's person he was in india who was handling all these things and he told me you got offer right at this moment this is the very good uh, like queens university never give offer this time might be someone back out their course i don't know why but you got offer this is a very good opportunity for you because queens university seats will fill in uh, mostly in may only and you got offer in july and the end july so it's a very good like opportunity for you that's nice uh, so coming to queens university how is the course structured how many credits you had to complete and i think it was just a one year course so first semester how many courses did you take so it's like there is like first semester three modules second semester three modules after uh, second sem- uh, second semester i have my dissertation and in dissertation so it depends on what course you are in my course only in my course i had internship is mandatory apart from this other courses 
you have to write dissertation on a specific project and all so my course is like in first module i had three uh, modules like one for python one for uh, S- python and sql one is for data mining and other one is fundamentals of statistics and data analytics that is proper basic of the that analytics and second module is for like machine learning then visualization and there is a one core in one module i had like three projects which we have to submit two group projects and a one is solo project in that first project is given by my university and we have to complete in a group within 2 to 3 days after then we got a project from deloitte Uh, which we uh, for that we got four days for that's also a group project then another project we got from energia for that we got a week but that is also very good project that's a solo project and energia is like uh, it's one of the biggest company in uh, our uk they provide electricity to all over uk so that's why they worked in that field okay. after then for dissertation university will help you uh, for the uh, internship because everyone is uh, like it is a me- uh, mandatory for everyone to go for internship okay so university will help you to get a internship they'll uh, give you some projects you have to choose pro- uh, projects which projects are good for you you have to give ranking 1 2 34 35 whatever it is okay. out of that students uh, like after your uh, ranking they'll send their uh, your resume to all the companies okay then you have to give interview then they will select so okay. i got one offer in this, in this one year of uh, doing the internship dissertation courses how much time do you get for the internship in particular because you i think it's the summer period of 3 months yes or... let me tell you so it's a courses of for one year mm-hmm. september to september okay. so it's like my course started in end of september and for 3 months it's for a uh, proper first module then another 3 months till because there was a uh, winter break in december for christmas time yeah so that's for whole one month okay then from uh, fab no january end my course a uh, second semester start january end so till that time to may and sorry may starting my second module complete second semester okay. completed because there was a easter break also okay after then from june because they'll give us time for one month after completing our second module so that we can uh, get internships or uh, for interviews companies and all even apart from this result also for first and second module result and if we if someone is having any reset they have to complete their reset by that uh, one month time only because they have to clear their resets reason behind this if you are not if your reset is not clear then you are not eligible for internship also got it and my course is of 180 credits it's like 20 credits for each module so six modules 120 credits and 60 for uh, my internship so i have to score 180 credits that is mandatory for masters degree apart from this i got uh, 2000 pounds scholarship also from university that's great uh, where did you intern during the summer time so still i got the same company energia and uh, because i applied uh, the projects i saw the projects and uh, there was a project which i was like this is good and i worked a little bit related to this in my dissert like in my module also i was like i'll go for this so i uh, give the preference to second number on that so i give my preferences but uh, energy called me first and they asked me about everything about my experience and all these things during that time i gave inter- i was do- giving interview to energy only for my full time job also okay because i applied there for graduate role so i told them that i already giving i am already giving the uh, in your interview round and i am on the last round of interview so i was doing that and uh, so they asked me few questions and about my like knowledge of python and all these things so i got offer from them that's great i think uh, having prior experience working with the company or having some knowledge about the project helps to grab an internship or even yes. a full time role in that scenario yeah so to so, coming to the scholarship you said that you got a scholarship from the university how much is did the course cost overall so my course cost was 17700 pounds okay okay and i got 2000 pounds scholarship which is uh, that means my total fees is like 15700 pounds which is in indian currency is 15 lakh 70000 rupees 
but there was a one more thing if i pay whole fee in a one go then i'll get 10% off that is early bird scholarship okay. so if i pay whole fee then i, I would have got uh, like approx 1 lakh 60000 rupees off that's also a big amount yeah so it's like uh, like if you're coming through loan also so you have if you take a loan then you will pay a, a whole set, like whole uh, fee in a one go yeah so then also you'll get a 1 lakh 60000 rupees off so it's just like this and this is a scenario so this it's a the- international uh, scholarship but apart from this i got to know about few more details because i joined very late like i got offer late so yeah. uh, my friend he got offer like a uh, 6 months ago before the course started so he applied for uh, some other uh, scholarships also it's like a vice chancellor scholarship that is for like 5 7000 scholarship days a one more scholarship for one each course there are two types of scholarships also two to three types every student will get 100% scholarship uh, like sorry one student will get 100% scholarship fully funded scholarship it's like that is good i don't know who got that scholarship in my course <laughs> okay after then uh, there is a one more thing like they uh, posted about that in their social media page in the oh, sorry in their website also in that uh, what you have to do is uh, you have to tell them that uh, you, like there are so many expenses and all these things so my friend he got 10000 pounds scholarship so every month he got 1000 pounds that means 10 lakh rupees i was like your fees is 15700 pounds and out of that you paid 10000 whole money in advance and your fees is like 14 14 lakh something and out of that you are getting 10000 pounds scholarship every month you will get 1 1000 pounds you don't need to do part time first thing <laughs> and your fees is just like 4000 pounds 4 4 lakh rupees that is really good i got to know about this very late but yeah you can go for that also you need to just whatever you are doing you need to search about it and you will get it you will get offers and so many things are going on even apart from this there's a hardship fund also university released like this year also they gave a uh, 65 million pounds hardship that is in indian currency it's a very lot huge yeah. <laughs> it's huge so they released 65 million pounds a uh, scholarship for everyone uh, it's a hardship fund so right now uh, due to inflation like cost of living is bit increased so they give everyone some money to every student apart from this hardship fund what you have to do is uh, like everyone applied for that it is like because queens is very rich and you have to tell them that okay i need some money because we are struggling here and uh, so they uh, fixed like for every student they fixed like 500 pounds so they give 500 pounds to everyone and 500 pounds is not a small amount and in a year they they will give you one or two times depends how much they have so okay. if they left with some money they'll give you two times otherwise they'll give you only one time so but apart from this funding. if you still struggling and you need something you can go and tell them they will help you so uh, yeah so coming to the expenses you said that it's really expensive to live there i just want to know the estimated cost of living and you know grocery and things how much do you incur in a month when i came here to be very honest i went out for milk and at my place milk is milk product is very good like cheese or milk these things are very good okay so here milk was like 1 1 pound 5 pence for 2 liter milk that is in indian currencies uh, 105 rupees for 2 liter milk which is like not even 55 rupees for 1 1 liter milk it's like this is cheap because in india i am i paid like 60 rupees for 1 liter milk it's like this is cheaper than india and this is really good so i, have, I was happy but now because of inflation it increased to 160 rupees for 2 liter and if you buy 3 liter then it will be less because here it's like if you buy 1 liter milk when i came here it was like 1 liter for 75 rupees 75 to 80 rupees for 2 liters uh 105 for 2 liters and think, for 3 liters 145 for 3 liters i was like so good <laughs> yeah i think us and uk all of them promote consume consumerism so they in decrease the price as the quantity yes. increases but as a person living alone or even not sharing with anyone it's 
I don't yeah. think it's even worth buying those and just throwing them away. Most of my groceries usually thrown away because the containers are so big. But here, uh, milk uh, milk date is like ten days or fifteen days. You can yeah. you yeah. to consume milk in ten days depends. Whenever yeah. you are so coming, to buy a milk, you need to check the dates. Yeah, coming to the expenses, how much is the rent approximately? So when I came here, my like someone told me that whatever the situation is, tell him to stay in Queen's accommodation only. Okay. So I stayed in accommodation, and accommodations uh, really expensive. But they give so many other uh, like there's like they'll give you so many things like uh, facilities. Like uh, they have a PEC. PEC is like a Queen's uh, sports center where they have two fifty sports. Okay. okay. So if you are staying in Queen's accommodation, you are eligible to go there without paying any fee. Okay. Apart from this, if you are not uh, in Queen's accommodation, then you have to pay two thousand two hundred pounds. That is twenty thousand rupees mm-hmm. for annually. Apart uh, and my fees was there fifth uh, like one twenty four pounds per week in hostel in okay. Queen's accommodation. So I paid one for twenty four pounds. That means twelve thousand four hundred rupees per week. Per week. And in that, my electricity, everything is included. It's an insert room, so room was quite small, but a very good room. All the facilities was there, attached washroom with a very good facilities, and kitchen was there. And in kitchen, you'll get microwave, toaster, toaster, rice cooker. Mm-hmm. Okay, all these things you will fully get. Fully furnished. Fully furnished. Fully yeah. furnished, and a TV also. A TV also. So you can watch whatever you want to watch with a high Wi-Fi system. That's nice. And I was with five, uh, like I shared uh, with five students. So attached, like everyone got their personal washroom and everything. And uh, but kitchen is uh, same for all oh. five people. Okay, got it. Yeah. Was it kitchen like a flooring is... floor system or like, like a big all... apartment with four, five rooms and? There was an apartment, apartment of four rooms and one kitchen. Got it. And one common room for everyone, mm-hmm. so in that you can have fun or parties. Because every Friday evening or Saturday evening we have parties, and we have, our friends were coming at home and like being an Indian. So all Indians come together. Like most of the Indians come together, and we cook some Indian dishes, and then we have a party in there. Then you can go for a walk. So it's a because Queen's accommodation is in the city center, like the center of Belfast. So at this place. Everything is very nearby. If you go out for a walk, there is a big riverside also. Everywhere you will enjoy a lot of night life is good, especially on weekends. Night life is really good. You will see a lot of people during nights. So, and apart that. from this, if you don't choose uh, Queen's University accommodation, then uh, outside depends. Where are you staying? If you are staying near university, so your uh, rent will be like thirty thousand rupees or forty thousand rupees per month, depend. Uh, what type of room you are searching for yeah. that will be like depend like three sharing or four sharing up to you but i think most of the rooms are like uh, common washrooms there will be two washrooms for three people or four people mm-hmm. and common kitchen all these things will be there apart from this in queen's accommodation there is a one more thing every day in the evening 7 pm there is a coffee bar like there is a co- common room for everyone okay, okay. in that common room All the people, like all of our people from, like there are so many people, students from the world. So they all gather at that place, and we have a coffee. Or they will every day. They are like there is a new event. So one day is like today is a pizza day. So they will give free pizza to everyone. Coffees is every time okay, free for everyone. Coffee tea is free, okay. But some day pizza day, some day coff, uh, like cupcake day, or some days are ga- like games like. Uh, Ping pong, pool, whatever it is, bingo. So if you whoever won the game, they'll give some uh, gift hampers like uh, Amazon vouchers or depends. So it just like and someday they like for Christmas they have potluck also. So everyone cooks some dishes and there was so many dishes completely filled with food and food and food. Whatever you want to have, like you can have because there was so many Indian dishes also, like Chinese, Italian, everywhere. You'll see everything. That's yeah. nice because a lot of people from different countries are there, so it's yeah. a good opportunity to talk to people and make. To be very honest, after whole day, because 
course is one year course and it's a very challenging and uh, to be very honest this course like if you go with the course like you have to study you have to give time to studies you have to manage so many things you have to study uh, you have to study you have to manage studies you have to manage part time everything common room is the best place because every day when you are tired with all these things you ha- you will you have you will get a time to uh, sit with your friends you will see so many people and they will uh, like nobody will talking about what you are doing oh back to that previous life or like not the boring talks everyone will join there they will just, like suppose you have your group and be like you're uh, talking to them and you are enjoying you are playing games it's just refreshing and playing games and some food good foods everything will be there there's a, a very big tv also like lcd and you can watch movies netflix anything good view it's a good thing after a tiring day it's good to connect with yes. people and also have coffee for free <laughs> yes everything like in common room if they uh, like in that if they have anything that is completely free no charge and yes if you if there is like some coffees and pizzas also there are so many gifts uh, games also like if you want to play chango or cards with uno or whatever it is you can play with your group so now coming to the part time part uh, where did you work part time how much did it pay for you early okay so in uh, uk early pay is now increased to 975 but i think uh, i got to know about is that uh, from next two or three months they are going to increase it to 1275 pounds per hour i worked in mcdonalds but i know how to, like there is a indeed app in uk if you search a jobs there so you will get so many part time jobs there like if you want to work in government field also then also you can get the job in uh, like a government sector also you can get a part time job like post office or in banking sector like ulster bank or uh, hsbc bank so you can get a job there also for part time and depends where are you going if you're going with a good franchise like banking sector or mcdonalds they will give you a good pay i worked in mcdonalds because first i of, uh, got offer from that place and i was like okay i am go- because that place is just next to my house and i i was like okay this is the best part because i don't need to go anywhere else yeah because some people those who are working for different different places they have to go for a long distance and all i was like okay mcdonalds is okay because i was getting a free food discounts and uh, just next to my house so that's why i chose mcdonalds but they were paying me 975 for day shifts and if i'm working for evening shifts like uh, after 12 like a midnight shift or that so or early in the morning like before 7 5 am or something like then uh, my pay is uh, 1075 okay. 10 pounds 75 pence so which is 1075 rupees mm-hmm. yeah so this is the pay but it, indeed and apart from this if you go door to door like restaurants indian restaurants are also there if you go to indian restaurant they will also give you like 10 15 or uh, 10 pounds uh 10 or 9.5 uh, whatever the minimum wage they'll mm-hmm. give you early pay apart from this you'll get some tips also yeah okay and in rest indian restaurants you will get a one uh, like free meal also got it and if you work in bar also then because one of my friend he worked in bar as a waiter or bartender he's like i my pay is 10 uh, 10 pounds per hour but uh, i'm getting 25 pounds tip per day i was like 2500 rupees just tip it's a very good amount hmm that's good depends and especially on saturday and sunday friday and saturday you will get a good tips hmm. and during christmas time your pay will increase you will getting a double pay like okay. suppose if you are hired for 10 pounds per hour and if you are working on christmas or christmas eve then you will get a 20 pounds that's nice so you can work anywhere there's no on campus or off campus thing anywhere and if you are working in queens also then you will get us so many things apart from this this is the best time because when i came here i didn't know about there's a holiday pay also okay i was like i don't want to go uh, shift so i told them that uh, next 3 days i don't want to be there and but when i got paid like i got a salary i was like why am i getting a this much amount so they told me that you were not there but you got a holiday pay i was like nice i didn't know about it 
<laughs> so like that's a sudden money ka money money came and i was like this is really good that's nice and is there a limit to how many hours you can work 20 hours in 20. uk yeah, and if you are a student then you can work only for 20 hours yeah while you're enrolled full time right same it's it's same in the us yeah so coming about the career fairs or some events in your college that help you grab an internship or maybe a full time job okay so there was a there is a career fair in my university two times one is winter career fair and one is summer car, uh, career fair so there will be like 150 or 200 companies will be here like deloitte and many companies jp morgan so many companies will be here can go personally talk to them about their culture like job requirements everything and like they'll help you and if you are graduated then they will help you in a different way they, they will tell you about if they have any job opportunities available they'll tell you you can go through directly here or they will take your resume also they will take your uh, cv and they'll say okay go for this thing and you can give my reference okay that you talk to me your things will get better soon because i talk to you so these things will help help you a lot and you will see so many companies and whatever they because so many companies are coming with the different different uh, profiles and if you are going with any company suppose power and i if you are going to them they'll tell you about what they are doing and uh, if you have interest in that also go for it and even some government sectors also translink is a bus bus and like metro basis uh, company here which is government so they also need like data analyst or every kind like construction also so many things they need so they were there for construction people got it Depends. so you think that the career fairs are really nice for students to grab internships yeah. or maybe make make connections as well true yeah yeah career so fair is really good for everyone you should attend it because and like to be very honest i would like to suggest one thing if anyone is having experience like one two years or three years experience okay they have a very good approach they have like there's a very high possibility that they will get a job immediately just after completing their course but if you don't have a uh, experience then don't need to worry about it what you have to do is when you come in uk in september or uh, september then you have to prepare a proper you have to prepare your cv properly then you have to uh, that you have to tell university that you have prepared a cv the university will help you to prepare a cv according to the job requirements according to the uk job requirements and everything some uh, one person will sit with you they will give you time for 15 20 minutes you can do it from work, uh, from home only yeah. through uh, meeting uh, through zoom or any other platform so they will help you properly how to create a cv after then you can start applying from october only for a uh, graduate role jobs and uh, so if you apply from that time only you will definitely get a job in september i was late for that because i didn't know about it that here things goes like this but being a experienced person i'm telling you this thing this is the best way to go because i am late for that but you are not late so you can go for it yeah so it's more like resume they change your resume depending on the job and more like a resume go through yeah, there, there is a software okay. they will, like there is a software vmock software which is for queens so in that uh, they will uh, take your you need to upload your cv there then you will get a score and they will tell you uh, in that from that software it will tell you what are the thing like it is good or not what and are the like what you have to check or correct or not after completing that then you have to book a appointment with uh, one person in queens there will be specific person for your field so that person will check your cv and he will talk to you while talking to you he will say say that you have to change this you need to update here you need to uh, this is the wrong way to do uh, like express your Uh, skills and whatever it is you need to add these skills or you can do this also so from after then your cv will be perfect then you can go for jobs that's great so talking about the timeline you said that you were late to apply for full time roles what is the timeline for applications of full time roles in to be very honest if you start applying for graduate visa graduate role in uh, october only mm-hmm. so that's the best time so in october when you start applying from october november december because most of the companies they close their graduate 
applications in uh, December only. Some they some close their graduate applications in Feb only. So you, it is good you if you apply in early, like if you apply in October, because I got to know about this thing in December only, and at that time there were like four or five companies were open and i applied in that and out of that energia was one of them that's why i got a call from them in may because they started taking because you have to apply at that time but they'll tell uh, talk to you in uh, march april yeah. or depends company to company yeah because on december because they close due to the uh, like the winter break or maybe christmas is big festival for them yes and because on yeah. your course like your job will start from october only from next year october so for that they will take your interview late only because they will be not in hurry okay. because you they know that you are uh, still uh, studying so you will you cannot come right now for full time mm -hmm. so uh, what is the average pay for a masters in data analytics student just a number i know it depends on a lot of things like experience and the place you apply to the company you are in but still just a if you have experience okay so you'll get a salary of 50 to 50 like if you have a three four three years experience then you'll get a salary of like 40 50 thousand pounds or 60 thousand pounds which is 40 lakh salary or 50 lakhs or 60 lakh package mm -hmm. but if you don't have experience if you're a fresher then you'll get a salary of like 25 like average 25 thousand pounds which is 25 lakh rupees or maybe 30 thousand pounds which 30 thousand 30 lakh rupees that you will get in the beginning but yeah here growth is very good so in a year you you will you, they will increase your salary so, and there is no problem if you are working in government sector also in government sector i think they'll give you salary for like 30 thousand pounds or 35 thousand pounds depend but yeah if you go for good companies also so few companies they need experience mm -hmm. if you don't have experience they need for graduate visa graduate uh, uh, role and graduate role is for one year okay. after one year definitely they will increase your salary so for graduate role they will hire you for like suppose 26000 pounds or 28000 pounds but after completing one year they'll increase it to 35 or 40 or 45 depends got it yeah. that's good to know and you talked about uh, because the recession and the current situation in UK and all around the US, all around the world, in fact. So you said that you don't have a full time offer at the moment. You're working part time at some place. So what is the focus? Well, how are you pl planning to get a full time role and how are you working towards it? OK, so uh, actually, I recently searched about all these things. So best way is because there are so many consultancies in UK, they will be like 20 20 or maybe more than that they are consultants they are working in this so what they do is like his total jobs or any there are many companies what they do is you need to submit your resume to them and then what they will do they will uh, update it in this uh, database okay and like they will help you like if they got if they know that there is suppose jp morgan is hiring for data analyst okay and they'll search in their uh, database okay these people need job these people are looking for data analyst role only and uh, their profile is relatively similar to them so they will tell you through mail they'll contact you through mail and they'll tell you that this is this is a job role in jp morgan so you can apply for that they will apply for you you don't need to pay not even a single penny to them it is just free of cost because they are getting paid from the companies only okay. so they are 20 company 20 20 plus consultancies you can go with them apart from this they are like as i told you about indeed indeed and there are some more uh, applications they are they will that's good for part time job and uh, linkedin is the best way all over the world so yeah. linkedin you can go with linkedin anytime okay and apart from this ni jobs or uh, uh, government there are some government sites uh, uk government jobs also in which uh, you can get a jobs you can search uh, there are so many uh, websites also like i think 10 15 websites where you can go and search for job but consultancies some consultancies are consultancies are really good because some companies they don't uh, advertise their jobs in uh, through uh, websites 
they did it directly through the consultancy so content consultancy contract you and they'll hire it directly from you and most of some of the companies they work like this if you are going through them directly and if you are going through consultancy they'll prefer consultancy first rather than this depends on company to company yeah i got it also it being free of cost it doesn't hurt to apply from there because yes it doesn't cost you know there is no harm in this so yeah. i was like okay yeah that's great can you talk about some experiences at queen some good and bad experiences to end with actually my course was very very intense hmm. because it's a one month course and my course is like i have to i got like one module so in one model i have to complete python uh, sql and everything and in my course actually uk us they, these countries are like like if you are not from these bank, or like specific background they'll give you offer in different background also depends still this is the one more thing depends on university to university because some university give you offer only in your specific field Yes. Okay, but some universities will give you offer in different field also. Like one, my university is one of them. So in my class, there was there was a guy who 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 has done his like he completed his bachelor's in a uh, biological field, but he was doing math data analytics and data analytics is completely with mathematics mm-hmm. and Python statistics. So. you can so any any field is like okay for this apart from this this is a very challenging because in a month you will get a just a very for my course uh, because depends on what course you are my course was very intense and very tough very very tough even my friends and everyone says that your tough, your course is really tough because it's a uh, because we got one month time and in that one month they taught us for a week in week they taught us complete python sql after then they give us one week gap for studies then next week exam so it just finish in this 3 3 to 4 weeks that's it but in other courses it's different scenario i had exams but other courses they don't have exams they have assignments or projects depends mm-hmm. course to course so they have their classes every day and they give you projects or assignments that you have to complete by this day that's it apart from this in uk they they are very very particular about uh, plagiarism and about your reports so you have to work properly on report and your report there should be a plag less than 20% plagiarism plagiarism so it is very important and they consider reports a lot they give you a good marks if your report is really good so i think the focus should be to do your work on your own and study more and complete your studies on time yes. being a smart course totally manage like how you manage things yeah because you're coming here you're mature that's your because you are coming alone in another country you're mature but you have to manage things also you have to manage part time you have to manage your studies you have to manage your food uh, like your housework like laundry food yeah. cleaning everything so you should you can you can manage easily but you should know you'll get everything by experience maybe uh, you might suffer for one month in the initial days you might suffer for one or two months but after one or two months you'll get to know everything about this place also about the culture also about uh, the working life because here life is very very fast if you are doing part time suppose there is a there will be a day you will you are going for just for 5 hours job just for 5 hours job and you will see your day is finished and if you are not working suppose if you are not going for part time job you have you are just having fun in a room and all so then also you will see my day is just started and finished in mm-hmm. seconds so here life is very fast that's so could you talk about some good experiences to at queens i mean it's really different i know moving to a different country having to manage everything on your own and i think it takes some time as you said one month i think one month is a little bit less because some people might take a, a I, more I time said, two months or three months also yeah i think in two three months people get you know students get adjusted to the life here i challenge uh, like it was, uh, this course and everything was very very challenging for me reason behind this english so the accent i am in uh, uk northern ireland and here like there are seven cities suppose in northern ireland northern ireland is a state of uk Okay. Okay, like as a country so there are seven different different uh, states sorry cities okay every place have their own accent 
like what seriously they were like uh, so uh, one local person he told me you will not get to know about this but we know that their accent is different okay then uh, they uh, they were like five seven people they were talking to me i was like i am not able to understand his accent what is he saying <laughs> then i got to know that he is from uh, his accent is that his accent is that so he is like in uk british accent is different scottish accent is different here this is uh, near to ireland so here irish accent and everything so all the accents are very different british accent is easier because it's british really accent is the one which we like in our schools they taught us and even in university everyone speaks british accent only mm-hmm. but irish accent is like uh, suppose if you ask them how are you so i'll say i'm good thank you we'll say i'm grand <laughs> okay and there's a one more thing there's a one thing difference is in northern ireland and scotland uh, they change like suppose if you done something they'll ask you in ireland they'll ask you how did you do this how did it like how you do this and in scotland they'll ask you why did you do this <laughs> so this is just a difference yeah a lot of differences pop up at least british english is really close to the one yes. taught in india because True. we've been ruled by britishers so yeah. so uh, there is a one more thing in university so university there will be so many companies and so many uh, charity people and uh, like volunteering people they will come also with their with their organizations you can go with them and you can suppose there is a one organization they are working for like kids they are preparing kids for like a captain in ships and all so you'll go there you can have fun with them and you just need to take care about all these things these things apart from this university have their own bar and activities so you have to, you can go there every day there is a different different classes and different different activities will be going on you will get a prizes also you will get some gifts exciting gifts and uh, so many things will be there like if you are coming here for one year suppose you you should enjoy your life because there was so many things so many things even if you are not staying in accommodation also you are part of queens and in queens university there will be every day so many events even uh, in in queens university there were like 470 events in a year even more than that okay. so every day you will see two or three events what is going on apart from this like recently i got i got a mail that uh, 23rd of march there is a race boat race competition and 5000 uh, op- like there is a 5000 openings so whoever wants to co- join registration is open and whoever wins they'll get a very good amount of prize of like prize money gifts so many things even uh, i went there there was a something event was going on and they were like if you basket three balls you'll get a gift okay then i basket and they give and even lucky draw also so many things and i got a smart watch there yeah, nice. lucky <laughs> so there were so many things even they told me there is a laptop also there is a phone or mobile samsung mobile phone also it's like nice Very opportunity to grab items for free yes yeah <laughs> so, so and best to- part is like ev- like you can talk to everyone you can talk to like suppose you can talk to american person you can talk uh, like you will get to know about their culture you can talk to japanese person or singapore chinese or south african anywhere like they will tell you and here people in northern ireland people are very sweet the one thing i will tell you the best thing which i like here so if you go out the people will say they will not they don't know you they're just a stranger for you Okay. but they will ask you hey man how are you all good okay but there's a one more thing you have to reply them yeah all good if you do thumbs up all that's all fine if you don't reply they'll get annoyed this man is so at this man is an attitude and like lots of attitude and all this and then they will they'll get uh, angry got it otherwise they are very cute they are very good in nature even there was a one case with me i was uh, walking in queen's garden so there was some there were two old there was a old couple they was uh, sitting there and i was on a call so i was wearing my earphone i didn't hear when they were they said hi how were you i didn't listen to them because i was on a call and i walked then i was taking a round i came back they were they saw me and like i saw their face and they were angry so i just removed my earphones i was like so they said uh 
we said we told we asked you how are you and you didn't said anything and you went so i'm so sorry about it i was i was on a call and uh, i'm good how are you i am completely all right how are you so that's it and they were very happy then they were like we are okay enjoy your day have a blessed day that's it so it's a very good experience because you should talk because here people talk to you they don't need anything from you but just they ask you how are you that's it yeah i think most foreign countries people are like this and you know a lot of communication happens like i mean it's more of a cursory and not so people do not know about neighbors and things like that but then mm-hmm. when they meet people on the road or some place they always ask you how are you or just a hi and hello exchanges it keeps going on yeah true okay. so is there some final advice for students looking to come to queens university for a masters in data analytics actually queens university is really good you sh- uh, like if you come here it's a very good opportunity for you because it's as i told you it's under 200 in all over the world and in uk it's 25th number and out of this this is the ninth oldest university uh, you'll get a good exposure here uh, here faculties and everyone is really helpful they'll help you a lot and if you're coming here for phd then most of the students got the job get the job in university only for after phd like assistant job or anything after then you'll become a, a professor there but yeah university is a very good offer and they'll teach you properly and uh, here jobs offers are really good and the best part is in uk is if you're coming uk then after completing your course you you are eligible for post study working visa which is valid for 2 years that means if you're coming here then you'll definitely you'll get a 2 years post study working visa so that means you are here for 3 years yeah and in that time like if you didn't get the job suppose after during a masters then still you have 2 years time you can still uh, search for jobs and you can take a sponsored job anywhere in uk so it's up to you and you can go wherever you want because there's so many opportunities in uk most so that's why i'll say you should come <laughs> thank you so much for such a nice interview and all the information you've told us it was great talking to you akshat today thank you